Hello, welcome to my show. Who the hell am I? Well, if you don't know, you may have seen me in Spelling Bee or The Lion and the Wiz, or on the electric company watching TV with your kids. But if you saw Memphis, how could you forget this? The smile, the smile, the fat, the blow. Welcome to the James Monroe Idle Heart Show. Fans, it's another edition of the James Monroe Iglehart Show, and today I am so so happy. I don't even care that I don't even have a set yet, because usually the first thing I say is, "Well, my set's getting better." No, I don't even care. You know why? Because today I am interviewing one of my favorite people. I even gave him the big chair, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Jellison. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the chair. <laughs> no problem at all, sir. I figured, you know, listen, I, the, the least I could do was give you the big chair. Uh, plays Mr. Collins in the Collins store when Huey first tries to play a record for people. He plays the father who snaps a little girl for listening to black music. He also plays uh, the record executive who comes in and signs, uh, signs Felicia to a record contract. And he also plays the stage manager in the TV station. I mean, the man is a man of a thousand faces and a man of a thousand voices. And... The first time I ever heard John Jellison's voice, I was in college and didn't realize it was John Jellison. John Jellison is part of the original cast of The Assassins, but I don't want to start there, because <laughs> I'll get too excited. But John, um, the first question I want to ask you, how many Broadway shows have you actually been in? Uh, 18. 18. 18 Broadway yes. shows. Yes. Think about that. You get it. started in theater, this whole 18 year career, just on Broadway. I mean, how'd you get started in everything? Uh, well, uh, I had never acted in a play. Uh, in high school, there was no facility for that. And uh, I, I went to college to become a political science major for some reason. Really? And I walked by uh, uh, this door that said they were going to have uh, tryouts for the play Rhinoceros by Enesco. Yes. And I had never done anything like that. And I thought, well, that sounds like fun. And, uh, <laughs> so I went in and I, 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 got, the, I got the part. Uh, with, which the guy turns into our rhinoceros in the, in the course of uh, really? Zero Must Help did it uh, on Broadway. And it was infinitely more fun than political science. I, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I transferred from that school to Boston University, which had a very good uh, theater program. And now, at the time, did your parents flip out that you were a political science major and now you're going through this play thing? No, no, not, not at all. They were, uh, I think they had some kind of frustration in that they didn't know more about the theater, so they couldn't really advise me. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but they know they've always been 100% uh, support. support. And uh, you graduated with a theater degree, I'm assuming. Yeah. Musical theater or just straight theater? Uh, straight theater. And do you go straight to New York or do you start doing regional theater? What do you, what do you start doing? No, I, uh, some guy had seen me. Uh, I had done a, like a summer spot gig and he asked me to come to Chicago to be in a, uh, a new musical that he had written with a young David Copperfield. <laughs> the, the magician? magician. <laughs> 18-year-old, a.k.a. David Kotke from New Jersey. Uh, oh. uh, anyhow, so he, had, we have, he was sort of, a, was sort of a, about the magic man, was the name of it. Yes. I won't go into what I thought about it, but... Uh, uh, but uh, Did David write the, the lyrics or the book? No, 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 he just he created all the illusions. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. No, this other guy wrote the book and someone else wrote the music, uh, all of which wasn't, well, yeah, I had that problem. Yes. But, but David, you know, this was really his first foray into and he was, you know, he was very good, and he created all these illusions, and wow, okay. stuff like that. And from there, I, I auditioned for uh, a Sweet Bird of Youth, which was playing out there with Irene Worth and Christopher Walken, mm -hmm. and I got that job, and that was coming to Broadway, okay. and that's what got me here. So, wow! Yeah. So, did you have an agent at this time, or did you get one through Boston University, or what? No, happened? no, I, and I had one in, in Chicago, and uh, you know, he said bye. <laughs> 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 Yeah. But to that, <laughs> <Right. laughs> then they got me here, and uh, yeah. you know, uh, and actually, then I got on a Broadway show right away, which is a uh, uh, called Zalman, the Madness of God, yeah. uh, uh, about Soviet Jewry, written by uh, Elie Wiesel, who uh, won the Nobel Prize. Wow. And uh, you know, I thought, well, this is going to be easy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was like, uh, you know, two in a row, and then it was another seven years before I got another one. So. Really? <laughs> So in that seven year period, what did you do? Well, you know, you know, well, oh, you did it. Oh, you did it. Just you did it. Well, you. I made my living as actor. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, I have to ask this question. Um, I think I can't remember the answer because I asked you this right before the Tonys. How many Tony Award winning shows have you been in? Uh, this is my third. Uh, Crazy for you, Titanic, 
and, and this. And this. Wow, crazy for you, Titanic and this. But you were also in, um, were you in Sunday in the Park with yeah, George? Yeah, the original cast. You were in Sunday in the Park with George, the original cast. That was the Fuller surprise. You know? This is what I'm talking about. So, you, uh, so after seven years of regional theater, what was, the, what was the next show on Broadway? Baby. Baby, yes. So what was that experience like? Well, you know, I love Mulvey and Shire. Yeah. Uh, you know, I had I had this one little feature part which I was the doctor, and I refer to it as the biggest laugh on Broadway because I would say this line, and I would actually have to count okay, yeah, one, yeah, two, yeah, one, three yeah. until they would stop laughing. So Are you serious? Was, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was like, oh yeah, I had four tonight. So I nice. got, got the four before I. But that, <laughs> okay. that, that was my that's my fond memory of, of Baby. But I left that to do Sunday in the Park with George. Okay. So. So, um, there you are, Sunday in the Park with George. I have to go here because it's, you know, the show has become legendary. You're there with Mandy Patinkin, you're there with Bernadette Peters, there's James Lapine, there's Stephen Sondheim. What was that experience like, just to be a part of all those, um, the people that they now consider like the legends of Broadway? Well, what was great about it, and I think people can't appreciate it now, that it was so new, the kind of music, and there was, you know, there's some music that, 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 that which I, I think some people could find abrasive, really, uh, if you don't take it in the context of the musical. So uh, what I absolutely adored about it, because it, it was about the creative, creative process, and uh, I just thought it was uh, audacious and outrageous and beautiful and stunning, and uh, uh, I remember when... Uh, Very exciting. Like, so who did you play in the show? I mean, what, what well, I, I did more covering than anything. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a walk, uh, walk on, I had a walk off, because I came up as a, a, one of the trumpet players. Mm -hmm. But, but I, I, um, my function there was to uh, uh, cover Jules and the Soldier. Yes. Which I did play a few days. And uh, I remember Brent Spiner was also in yes, the show. Yes. For those who don't know Brent Spiner, he plays Data in Star Trek New Next Generation for all you uh, amazing In the players. process, were you married? Did you? How'd you meet your wife? Because I know you're married and you uh, have a yeah, child had, who's now an actor. Yeah, well, we had met. I, I, I had done Candide uh, at the arena stage just, just prior to... Uh, but just prior to baby, and that's where she and I met. I keep looking at the camera because you understand the man is rattling off <laughs> some of the coolest shows <laughs> in the history of Broadway. Yeah. I did Candide at the arena stage, which is also an amazing theater. <laughs> okay, so you did Candide, and you guys met. And uh, she an actress? Too? She's no longer an actress. She's uh, an administrator in the. Uh, she's an assistant principal at a public school here in uh, Manhattan. Thank you very much for helping our children. Yes. Yeah. So um, you guys, uh, was it? Basically, I'm gonna say, how did you spit game to your wife? Did you walk up to her and say, "Hi, I'm John Jellison"? I'm no, Candy. no. What did you, you do? <laughs> it, it was. It was. It was. I mean, talk about that. I had um, immediate dislike of her. Immediate <laughs> sort of shocked me because I, I sort of like everybody, right. or, or I, I give them the benefit of the doubt. Yes, you least. know, first time I. But I it was just immediate. Oh, oh. <laughs> what was it about it? Just... I have no idea. I have no idea. And and, it, and uh, <laughs> over the course of time, I, I well, I was probably wrong about her. Yes. Did she? Did she have? Did she? Did she have an immediate dislike of you as well? Well, she says she did. But I don't know if she did actually. She's, well, I said it first. Right. Well, well, I didn't like you either. So, well, it you makes know. a better story if you both yeah. didn't like each other yeah, yeah, and yeah. you fell in love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, okay. You know, and we just had our twenty-sixth uh, oh. wedding anniversary. So uh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I've been married uh, January twelfth will be nine years, and I'm I look at couples like you, and I go. That's where I want to get to. Yeah, you know, yeah, Twenty six years with somebody. That's great. That's and you got. I mean, you're successful. You're still doing what you love. I love that. Yeah. So now I have to move on to you. Go from um, Sunday in the Park with George. What's next? What What comes after?